Welcome to the Commercial Kitchen Chronicles, the podcast dedicated to the commercial food equipment repair industry. My name is Pat Finley. I'm a lead master certified technician at General Parts Group and a certified special trainer. Our goal is to shine a light on what we believe to be one of the most interesting and rewarding industries a field service technician can work in. We love the work we do, and we are glad you're here listening to this podcast. This episode is live at AHR, featuring Viper Vixens, Ash, and Becca from Refrigeration Technologies. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. If you don't know, we're the Commercial Kitchen Chronicles. Um, we're a commercial food service repair industry kind of specific uh, podcast. We also highlight all trades, so it's not just us. You know, we uh, love all trades. We think trades are the future, so we just try to promote the industries. So today, I'm joined by Jason, and we have two very special guests. We have Becca and Ash from Refrigeration Technologies. Hi. Hey, guys. We, we've coined a term. We're calling ourselves the Viper Vixens now. So I like it. I like it. Refrigeration technologies, Viper products, Viper Vixens. I like it. I like it. Everybody loves an alliteration. So you guys have absolutely been killing it. I know you guys are both fairly new, but you guys are making huge waves for the company, for the industry. So it's it's refreshing to see you guys having fun and enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's been great. Um, I joined in October, so in a few months and um i yeah i'm absolutely loving all the opportunities and working with ashley and yeah it's been it's been a little bit of a whirlwind but in the best way possible um so i've been there since may um i think part of the good thing is that we both had that industry experience from mm-hmm. before um and that really kind of i feel like helps you transition quickly um but yeah we're building a powerhouse team so you better you guys better watch out because refrigeration technologies is coming for everyone and everything in the next couple of years nice <laughs> i love it i love it so let's start with becca what is your role uh, what do you do day to day for refrigeration technologies okay um yeah so i am director of marketing and um so i'm running all of our social media um creating um, you know, cohesive marketing uh, strategies across every channel. You know, it's social, email, PR, community outreach, working with ambassadors. Um, I'm the one in there, you know, trying to respond to every comment <laughs> and every message. And every tag. And every tag. And um, I love it. I love seeing what people are doing. Um, so it's my job to, you know, get, keep getting the brand out there and you know, get as many eyeballs on our products as we can. Yeah, you guys' products are top notch, and I love showing them off. I love when I go to the supply house and looking at their, you know, I go into United and I see you guys' display. I'll take a picture and I'll grab a bottle, make a little video, and tag you guys in it and show it off. So we may have some new displays. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> so Ash, what's your role? So my official title is Director of Education and Brand Management. Um, So I focus more on the contractor. I'm going after the contractor, trying to educate them, train them, make sure they know the differences in products and, you know, what they should be choosing. Um, And then also doing my own HVAC Ash brand, but like an internal brand ambassador for uh, refrigeration technologies. So um, we, we do a little collaboration with the brand with, personal brand and company brand in order to get as much exposure as possible. I dig those stickers. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, you know, I'll take a lot of the questions, comments, as I'm listening and interacting, um, kind of work with Ashley to say, hey, I think, you know, there's a little bit of a miss on what nylon can be used for. People mm. think it's glue. And it's like, let's educate, let's make some content. Um, and so she'll make a, a video, you know, very... <laughs> Um, for her page, and then I can um, use that content as well on the Reefer Tech uh, channels as well. So speaking of Nylog, I heard there was a, a thumb wrestling event. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> was, was there some controversy in who won, or how does how this play out? Because I don't see this ending very well, to be honest. <laughs> um, well, I think it was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Nylog, you know, we talk about it being sticky i guess you know we forgot about the fact that the fact that it's slippery yeah. too it literally is like lube a little bit yeah you know? it's so. i mean it's oil so like <laughs> you know we covered we poured a bottle each on our hands and then thumb wrestled but by the end of it we couldn't even grip each other's hands like anymore. out of breath <laughs> yes, we were, we were physically out of breath you may have had the advantage of those nails though i mean those things are daggers <laughs> <laughs> 
So was I there any tried. collateral damage? <laughs> no collateral damage. All right. no, just a broken nail. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I didn't do it. No, she did. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> but it, so, was a, it was a good time, a way to get people into the booth. We just want to create that engagement. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you guys clean Nylog off your hands then? Viper wipes. <laughs> Dang, they got it down. I got professionals up here. Um, those Viper wipes are no joke. I use them yeah. for everything. Um, I deal with greasy, nasty kitchens and stuff. I deal with that grease. It sticks. It, it eats plastic. So you don't want to leave it on your tools. It'll eat the rubber handles off and stuff. So I keep those Viper wipes in the van, and I wipe them off. And I, I use them on the van because my arm will have grease, and I'll put it on the window, and it just gets black. And it scrubs it right off. It does a really good job. I'm still mad I lost that race, though. I think it was rigged. Rematch. It was so close. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to go that hard. And I look over, and I was like, holy cow, i got to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could, we could probably get you a rematch today, you know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe me and Jason can who run wants, over there. Who wants yeah. to battle him? Viper wipe. Wipe off. Matt? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Let's go to have a battle, so. <laughs> um, so, you know, I've used your guys' products for years. The red cans, my go-to in these kitchens. I'm um, cleaning these condenser coils, um, you know. Spray it on there, does a really good job foaming up. You set grease off, rinse it off, and go about my day. Um, I think a lot of guys think that you don't have to rinse that on a condensing coil. and an evaporator coil, you don't have to rinse it, but I always tell everybody with a condensing coil, do you have to rinse it? Is that true? Yeah. Okay. You're going to want to rinse it. Um, so soap, right, if you mm-hmm. leave it on a, a coil, it's just going to attract a little bit more dirt mm-hmm. afterwards. So can you leave it without rinsing? Yes, but we would recommend you that you yeah. would rinse it. And I always, I tell my new guys, I'm like, well, you can do it on the evaporator because the evaporator is just pulling the moisture out of the air, so it's kind of rinsing itself off. Exactly. Yeah. So, and that's the, that's the example I kind of use. And so, I mean, it does great in these kitchens, though, these greasy, nasty coils. Um, I, I don't know how customers get away with some of the stuff they do. <laughs> Seeing so some of your content sometimes makes me question if I want to eat in restaurants. Oh, I'm not even showing the worst <laughs> of it's a bad thing. Yeah. Like, I'll make an entire video, and I look over, and there's, like, a collar. I'm like, I can't post that video because everyone's on the world map just based by the collar of something, and it's just... Call them out. <laughs> I'll get fired. I'm just kidding. Tito will tell them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why you do that, Tito? <laughs> so, let's talk about the Venom Packs. These are my favorite thing. It doesn't take up space. Super concentrated. They last forever. You guys want to break that down for us? Sure. Yeah. I can tackle that. Um, so our Venom Packs are awesome because, I mean, your space in your truck is limited, right? You, you only have so much space. So with the Venom Pack, we basically take in the product that's in the gallon jug and pulled all of the water out of that. So it's going to be a super high concentrate. So you're going to get a really small prof- profile, but you're going to get a lot of bang for your bucks. So you're going to get nine gallons of product. So you're going to do like lots of cleanings with that. Um, also having them be squeezy like that makes it really easy to pour, you know, maybe you've had a, a rough day and you got the shakes and you're, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't got to carry those heavy gallon jugs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when they first came out, I was on the roof of a restaurant and I used, I, it was a really bad restaurant. So I used a bunch. I, I, I probably used way too much, but I wanted to see it was true. I seen guys like throwing them. I was like, I'm 20 feet in the air. So I just chucked this thing off the roof by the van hit the ground, splat, and it didn't bust. I was like, you got me sold, man. I can throw it in the back of the van now. I don't have to worry about it. Those gallon jugs, I mean, stuff will poke a hole in them. Yeah, stuff will fall much. on them. You know, it, it doesn't take much, and you got a mess in your van. So. You're definitely not dropping a gallon jug off of a 20-foot no. store. Yeah. I don't like dropping them two feet. So. <laughs> I feel like we need some. We need you to repeat that. Let's get some content around that. That's a good That's a good one. Let it get warm. I'm in Indiana right now. It's not, it's not favorable conditions for cleaning to be coils. Sorry, I live in Arizona. We don't deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> So what all can you get in the Venom Pack? What, what's all varieties are in there? Um, so we've got our condenser cleaner, which is our workhorse. You know, it's it's the basically the same product as our heavy duty. So it's a powerful cre- cleaner degreaser. We have our EVAP cleaner. We do have our Bright um, as well. And then we have our all-purpose. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I um, rock the, the EVAP cleaner and definitely the, the all-purpose cleaner. Um, I will tell you that stuff's great for a bubble party on the roof. If you don't oh. rinse it out very well, it bubbles okay, pretty good. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we like a phone party. Yeah. <laughs> Probably create some content on that too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give them all kinds of ideas. Of things. <laughs> uh, but the products are great. I mean, I've used them for years and years and years. Um, I try to stay clear of the blue stuff now. Um, I had a not so good uh, interaction with it and it, is, it was my own fault. Um, so, but I, that's a last case scenario. And then you gotta make sure you get that stuff clean. Cause that stuff just, it eats and eats and eats. So I, uh, I tell my guys yellow all day long. If it's that bad, you know, Make sure you're not on a microchannel coil if you're going to use the blue. But 
I try to steer clear from it. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that's like our focus as a company. You know, our, our tagline is performance without hazardous materials. Mm -hmm. And that's been from inception. You know, um, John, the founder, owner of the company, that was always his message. Um, I do think that we're getting better about being, as, as, a, as an industry, we're getting better about being cognizant of what we're using. That's what we're trying to do too, mm -hmm. help educate you know, the, the differences in product. Like you don't need to strip the coil in order to have a clean coil. Also, who wants to handle something that's gonna burn their skin or melt their shoes? That sounds awful. You get it on your hands, like, what is that? It's like, it makes you, it's weird. It gets slimy and it feels like it's layer skin's coming off. I don't know what it is. Probably it? because it is. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you probably shouldn't wear, you should probably wear gloves if you're going to You should definitely it. be wearing gloves yes. if you're using any kind of corrosive or, or brightening, um, brightening chem chemical. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what we want. Yeah. You know? We want people to be safe. Yep, yep, and I like it. Um, Jason runs a PM program where he works at, and I know he uh, expressed a lot of interest in, you know, changing over that to, Vipe, to the Venom Packs because they're small, yeah. Um, they're easy to handle. You know, he's got guys doing, you know, two, maybe three PMs a day, and they don't have to lug all that heavy stuff up over there. They can lug up an empty jug. They can, you know, use the spray bottle and just put a little bit in there and do the whole roof. So those products are are definitely top notch. Yeah, my, all of, my techs really do enjoy having that product and not having have, having to have those jugs in the vehicle and whatnot. So um, I got them the, the condenser coil cleaner, but I was looking at that bright. Where, where's a good scenario to have to go that level good question so they're few and far between um you guys probably might run into it a little bit more because you're in the kitchen industry yeah. right so i'm sure you've like i mean we mentioned earlier there's some really mm -hmm. gross dirty so that oil can be very sticky it's hard to remove it's really gross so we usually say in areas that have been really neglected mm -hmm. you know maybe they just haven't been maintenance properly um and we still would recommend using the condenser and i would yeah, say yeah that's what you, we have been it's been getting the job yeah. done but yeah. In those in those really hairy, nasty situations, yeah. that would be where we would say, okay, do the bright, but make for sure you're really rinsing it off. It is powerful. Um, the other instance would be if you're gonna if you're going to be applying a coil coating, um, because you really need a really clean surface. The oh, bright okay. will strip it, right? Get it prepped basically okay. for the coil coating. That's really kind of it. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, thank you for the explanation. The only time I really use it, say, if you have a rooftop unit that's right next to an exhaust hood and it's constantly sucking in that grease laden air from the exhaust, that's about the only time I use it. And I still try to steer clear from it. Just yeah. sometimes go, you can do it two or three times with the yellow stuff. And it'll, it'll, it, it gets it clean. Yeah. Yeah. For when you get new accounts and they've been neglected, those, <laughs> and, you know, everything, they're all caked up and it's like, all right, we're going to have to do a deep cleaning this first time around, you know, to get, get them caught mm -hmm. up. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, there's been this like misconception that a shiny coil is a clean coil. I think we're kind of trying to change that, right? Just because it's sh it's shiny because it's been stripped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not what we want, right? We just want it to be clean. So when I first started, I thought shiny coil is clean coil, and then I realized that I'm just tearing up coils. <laughs> we're all guilty of it. Yeah. Yeah. We learn. Um, Everyone likes bright and shiny things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. That coil started off black. <laughs> it was not silver, so not here. <laughs> So what kind of cool stuff you guys got coming up for the social media? Oh, man. Um, we're working on a new series um, kind of similar to, like, the How It's Made. Um, so we want to show people, you know, like, our products are developed by techs for the techs. And we want to show that process from start to finish. So, um, you know, our you know flagship product, uh, Big Blue. So we kind of have a play on um, Breaking Bad because, you know... <laughs> Science. Blue, science, <laughs> chemicals. Um, so, yeah, so Breaking Blue will be dropping soon. Nice. Ooh, I cannot wait. I cannot um, wait. And, yeah, just really focusing on building up our brand ambassadors, um, get us out there, having fun. That's our big thing. It's like we want to have fun, trying to make chemicals sexy. <laughs> um, you know, we just want to get the word out there and, just keep connecting with the community. That's like my favorite part. Yeah, you guys are out there killing it. So uh, I recognize I see you guys everywhere. Everyone talks about it. So you're definitely doing that and getting it out there. I look forward to seeing that, uh, that little series you guys are working on. So yeah. It's going to be so good. Yep. You talk about Big I Blue. I can't wait. I, I, I use Big Blue on everything. Um, when I first started, I was electronically detecting everything. And now I just electronic gets to kind of the area. And then I use Big Blue. And it shows everything. I mean, I use it on little bitty gas leaks on pieces of appliances up to... You know, walking coolers, I use it on literally everything. So, 
those it, micro bubbles they're powerful yeah yeah <laughs> my son he's he's began doing leak searching he loves it it's like a challenge to him and he doesn't even do refrigeration that's yet that's cute yeah. but like he just <laughs> good game. it's just it's like it's a challenge and like i, I don't want to do it i had him with me training and i was like oh we gotta do a leak check he's like oh, i'm doing it i was like cool i'm gonna sit over here and play on my phone <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me really find it. He's like a bloodhound. He gets in there and finds it. But How old is he? 21. He's been doing this for a little over a, a probably year and four or five, six months maybe. And uh, he's absolutely killing it. He loves it. He tries to learn as much as he can. So uh, he started off, he's uh, trying to get good at the hot side stuff. And he's going to eventually change over. He's going to start doing refrigeration as well. So That's awesome. We need them. We need yeah. young guns. Yes. yes. Yep. yep. That's what we do. We try to highlight the young guns. We need to find some more young guns to bring on. So. Yeah. yeah. How do we do that? Yes. That's the question. Does he have friends that get involved? <laughs> Come find leaks with me. <laughs> He's just a different kid. I, I never imagined in high school he'd work with me. Like, mm-hmm. even when he said he wanted to work with me, I was like, no. I was like, go work somewhere else. No, I don't <laughs> want to deal with it. I was like, because I didn't know if he'd like it. And I didn't want him to feel obligated because he's working with me. And be like, oh, he wouldn't let me down or something. But he's excelled and he does a really good job. So maybe he awesome. just wants to follow in dad's footsteps. Yeah. yeah we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the breaking, well, the, the, that series coming up. Um, so if people want to get a hold of you guys, just follow you guys on social media, share everything. If you use your products, tag you, make a little video. Yeah. Little videos go over pretty well. So. Yep, we, you know, uh, Ashley's got her account, um, we've got the Refrigeration Tech account, um, you know, we're on every platform, uh, trying to grow our TikTok, so. <laughs> I really need to start doing a better Demon. job with my stuff. <laughs> it is. Uh, I think everyone needs to keep in mind also, when you tag a company like yours, you guys reshare it, mm-hmm. so for, for a lot of young techs and trying to grow their network, I mean, you get, it's... It's a collaboration. Just that small little bit might get you also known and, and whatnot, and, and you can grow. Exactly. We want to use our platform to help promote the people who are trying to come up, the creators that you know want this space. Mm-hmm. So if we can help elevate them, share their content, create a relationship with them, um, you know, then that's a win. For sure. That's a win-win. <laughs> I think it, yeah, it works both ways, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, helps them, helps us. We love. I mean, I. It's always really cool when you talk about a product and then you see everyone posting about it and tagging you and sharing you're like oh this, I'm making an impact right like we're making an impact it's a really cool feeling on both sides um, I've started calling when they do the uh, aerosol they're called foamies <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so tag us in your foamies <laughs> that's great and for me it helps me learn mm-hmm. you know um, I came from more of the plumbing side of things so really learning um, the HVAC and refrigeration when I see your guys' posts helps me too because then I can interact with you and be like can you tell me about what you're doing here um because to me I mean I'm like what am I looking at (laughs) um so if you guys can explain it to me um it's just helping me be better at my job absolutely sweet sweet did you coin the the FOMO (laughs) when I was doing them someone said uh, foamies 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 Foamies. yeah Yeah. that's new (laughs) like zoomies you can use it (laughs) fair enough he's gonna use it (laughs) so you guys have some heat blocking products out there. You guys want to talk about those? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about all of our stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got um, our wet rag product. Um, it's a putty. Uh, and then our newest, uh, the heat shield, um, which is a blanket. Um, and they're awesome. Yeah, I love that blanket. I've used the putty for years and years, and it works great, um, especially when I'm training a new guy. They get a little carried away with a torch, and that kind of saves some valves. It saves some filter dryers and stuff like that. But um, I played around with the, the towel, and that thing's cool because you can use it wet or dry, yeah. and you can put a torch right on there, and it's just perfectly fine. It, it's a cool product. So I look forward to doing stuff like that. I work in a lot of close quarters and reaching in coolers and stuff, and the walls are always plastic. And you get in for a torch, man. I, I can open up a cooler, and you look at the back, and you see, like, melted plastic, or you see black marks. Like, well, okay, someone's been in here. So that product right there is going to save a lot of cooler walls and stuff, and it's got a really good use for me. Yeah, that uh, the heat blanket, our heat shield is just blowing the competition out of the water. No, no jabs, but uh, it's definitely the best one on the market. It's so durable. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we see videos of people all the time, like, putting their face behind it, which we Bones, don't hands. necessarily don't do that, recommend. Don't do that, Please don't try that at home. <laughs> people will do anything on the internet. <laughs> anything for a like. Anything for a view. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. So we covered, we covered the uh, Venom Packs. We covered uh, the, the heat blocking compound. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? 
Ooh, there's so many products. I mean, we can talk about all of it. We've got Nylog. We've yep. got the wi- I mean, we talked a little bit about the wipes, but if you guys didn't see the thumb wrestling, that was like such a testament to the Viper wipes mm-hmm. yes. because, I mean, our whole hands were just covered, covered and disgusting. Um, and I think it took me two wipes two to wipes. get the Nylog off my entire hand. Yep. So out from, out from under our nails. Yeah. And our hands are soft. Yeah. Like got that lanolin, the uh, vitamin didn't dry my hands on aloe. <laughs> yeah, I walked by the booth earlier and a guy stuck his fingers in the nylog thing and I was like and then, like he went right over to the wipe and his wipe right off. I was like and then so I heard someone saying that's what they use at the factory when they yeah. make a mess or yep. they're cleaning uh-huh. tools yep. and stuff, they use the nylog. Very multi purpose. They use yeah, so that's a uh, those are pretty slick. I love them man. Uh, I I I try to take care of my tools, I buy tools, I don't like buying them. I mean I like buying them, but I don't wanna have to buy them. So I keep them in good shape, and others do a really good job at it. So I clean my entire house with them. <laughs> they smell good. They're they not do. bad. They like, yeah. A lot of times you get those wipes, and they just they smell chemically, or like they Clorox on or, everywhere. Or if they yeah. say it's like lemon fresh, it's like too much lemon, and you can't breathe. I call those scents like bathroom scents. Like you know when you go to like a gas station bathroom, and you're like it's lemon, but it's weird. <laughs> so that's what I think of anytime I use anything else. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. I like it. I like it. Um, so. For people who don't know about Nylog, what is Nylog and how did it come about? Yeah, so it's a threaded gasket sealant. So a lot of people use it when they're uh, seeding flares. Mm. Kind of basically closes any gaps that there may potentially be there to create a perfect seal. So you're not going to have any leaks. Um, you can also use it to moisten gaskets, O-rings, because it's mm. obviously very sticky. It's gooey. Um, it's going to keep all those seals hydrated, um, so they're not going to crack or break. Um, but Nylog is just refrigerant. This is the, the, the play, I think, right? Mm-hmm. People are like, oh, it's going to clog my system. I can't use that. But yeah. it's not a contaminant. It doesn't dry. It doesn't harden. It is actually just refrigerant oil that we've made super viscous. So, you know, if it gets into the system, it, it's, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's miscible. So it just completely, dis- it, it's not there. It they would never know. It part of the system. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, I, I used it years ago when I used to do some bigger stuff and, Every time I put a gasket on there, it'd slip and slide, and I just coat it and just stick it right there and put it on the other side, and it held it in place every time. That's, that's, that's a perfect the first, use. Oh, yeah, it works great for assembling compressors. When you, you, you know, you got the gasket for your king valve or whatever, you got to yeah. you know, build it on there. It works pretty good. Yeah, it's a good product. And it also generates a lot of, um, what's, I'm not going to say hate because that's wrong. It's polarizing. Okay. I've used that word like seven times today, which is weird, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> Things, you know, you got a lot of hate and we're like, you can't use that, don't use it. And then you got the the diehards who are like, that's all I use, I'm using that. So um, anytime we do anything with Nylog, there's always a, a love hate. So we have three different versions, blue, red, white. So they all have, they all serve their purpose. Yeah. Yeah, I use the heck out of the Nylog white, so I forgot all about that. But man, I love that stuff. So I deal with a lot of, I mean, grease, I'm not gonna lie. But so I screw things in the fry pots and it comes in contact with the grease which is in the food so it has to be ready for food but that stuff doesn't harden that's the problem a lot of this stuff the stuff turns to concrete and you cannot get it out you either gotta use a torch or a big giant wrench you end up stripping stuff or breaking stuff off because it's not really the connections that tight it's just that chemical or that pipe that you put in there just turns to concrete and you can't get it off but i haven't had a problem with any of that it comes right back out and it stays pretty mis- pretty pliable and stuff. And it works really good. Yeah, I think we need to, we need to do some more content around Nylog White because I, I feel like people who know it they love it, but a lot of people don't really know about it. So that might, that might be something coming down the road. <laughs> I'll add it to the content. Maybe you can help us. I can help, I can help <laughs> that one for sure. So, um, but yeah, I used it in fryers. I used it in water lines, filters, everything, gas lines. I just. You know, it's dialogue. You put that shit mm-hmm. on everything. Put shit on everything. Yes. <laughs> I always, I was scared always saying that in stories. I was like, I don't want, I don't want you guys to get mad from using that word. But we're totally fine with we're it. We're cool with it. Okay, yeah, it just works. don't eat it. Right. Yeah, yeah, just don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah. The, <laughs> amount, sure. the amount of people that walk by our big display of the wheel of it are like, you know, one, they want to walk by and touch it like as they're going, and I'm like, oh, that was a mistake. That was a bad idea. Um, and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yesterday we had someone be like, what happens if I eat it? And I'm like, don't. It. Why would you eat oil? I just had, like, right before we came over here, I was talking to um, a couple ladies, and she was like, oh, is this sugar? Can I eat this? I'm like, mm, no, I definitely would not Please recommend don't. that. That's <laughs> wrong. I mean, it does look like a taffy pole. Have you, ever, yeah, like, have you yeah. ever seen, like, a taffy pole? The wheel looks like that. So, I mean, I could kind of see that, but I don't know why we would have sugar in a in, in this setting. Yeah. They think it's just a prop, and it's not really the product, I think. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> anything jason yeah so 
go back to the whole ownership thing. So I'm really big about, you know, family-owned businesses, American jobs. So could you guys speak to that? Because, uh, yeah, there are other products out there, but a lot of those are mega corporations, you know, a lot of numbers working there and whatnot. But yeah. I'd like to talk about mm-hmm. the, the family and, and some history on the on, Yeah, on absolutely. The Do you want to take this one? Yeah, take it? sure. Family, I mean, yeah, the company goes back to 1987. Family-owned, still family-run. Yeah. Um, you know, John... Uh, he's the original creator. He's the chemist. He was in there, you know, he was in the HVAC field and was basically like, I'm tired of burning my skin off. Like, there's got to be a better way. And he was a chemist um, before that. So he just went into his lab and figured it out. And, um, yeah, so the company has just exploded with growth over the last mm-hmm. few years. But um, every uh, based in Anaheim, um, everything's pretty much manufactured there. And... Um, yeah, Mike, uh, Mike, our president, he's just um, he's taking things to the next level. Awesome. Like I said, we're coming for everything and everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, see, I see you were at the facility and they were mixing up some chemicals and you were videos and stuff on that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's so fun to watch. Like, I had so much fun just being there and just, like, watching what he's doing, mixing stuff. Watching Big Blue come together is so cool. So, like, I'm, I love to see how things are made. And I'll sit in a restaurant and, like, it was in a five-star restaurant downtown Indianapolis one day, and I was just watching a chef plate these foods, and like it was like art going out of there. He's like, "Are you hungry?" I was like, "No, I'm not hungry." I was like, "That's art." I was like, "I just love how it's coming together." It's like I love to see how stuff's made and stuff like that. So those videos always get me hooked. Oh yeah, yeah, like watching these big, massive you know, containers just mix everything together, and you're watching, you know, it slowly start to get thicker, and he adds in like the blue coloring. It's just, it's like mesmerizing. <laughs> so there's two versions of Big Blue. So you have a Sub Zero for guys Actually, like that. Actually, there's three. Is there three? There's three. Let's Uh-oh. talk to it. Let's yeah. talk about it. So you've got your regular, your OG Big Blue, which is probably what most use. Mm-hmm. And we've got our Sub Zero. So that's for our colder climates, chillers, anywhere it's going to be really, really cold. And then we have our brush on. Like a lot oh, of people don't know about the brush on. Oh, I forgot about the brush on. And the brush on has a little dauber that extends up to 10 inches. So it's good for those like really remote areas where maybe your arm is a little too big to fit in there, but you can get a little dab in. <laughs> All those muscles. Most of the time I'm bleeding from a stick in this place. I should have <laughs> so many scars. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot all about the dauber. I just always use the some trigger discipline, just try to get a little stream in there and hope I hit where I was trying to hit it. So. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I grab it, put it on the stream. It's like a game. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hit the target? And then holster it. Yeah. I won't tell you what I'm shooting at a, in a restaurant. You guys would eat somewhere. So. I think I can take a shot in the dark there. It's it's always an adventure. Yeah. Pull a panel off. You don't know what's going to move. I couldn't do it. I don't. I don't think I would eat out. No. My son. I'm not going to say name of the restaurant because I don't want to get trouble. But like he pulled something out one day and he's like. He's like, the whole wall was moving. I was like, what? Oh, no. He's like, the whole entire wall was moving. I was like, what'd you do? He's like, I pushed it back in. I left. I was like, okay, good job. <laughs> no, no. Mm-hmm. Let the manager go. No. no. And just yeah. Away. That's, he said the manager acted like it was no big deal. He told the manager, manager was like, so? He's like, I'm not doing it. And he's like, why? I'm just like, okay, that's nasty. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like creepy call- crawlies, though, so... That's the restaurant world. I'm just used to it. Like, he first started, he freaked out about stuff. I'm like, as long as there's not a whole bunch of them, I just let it be. Um, but if there's a bunch, I just, we just, and our, our company doesn't expect us to work in those conditions. I mean, it's not right. It shouldn't be there. I mean, I understand that there is those type of things in those environments we're in. But when it's excessive like that, it's, you know, you got to take care of it before we do anything. So. <laughs> you need some pest control first. You did yeah. a video <laughs> about, um, like, a popcorn machine. Oh, and yes. It's, it's made me question ever having movie popcorn ever. Don't ruin this for me, guys. That video, <laughs> I love movie popcorn. Well, that one's brand new now, so that's all right. But yeah. it was, yeah, it was terrible tearing it apart. Well, what happened was the seal went bad, so the oil, instead of being in the pot, was leaking down into it. That's the only reason it's so yeah. bad. It was just that seal was compromised, and... It took, like, four months to get a new one in because I don't know what happened, but it took forever, and they just kept using it, so the oil's just running down the elevator. I'm not generally like that. That was, like, a, a worst-case scenario type of deal. Good. I, I no. love my movie theater popcorn. Oh, I do, too. Yes. I do, too. There's nothing like it. I, like, I, could, la, la, la. I was in there working, and I could just smell it, and I was like, I want popcorn now. Oh. I think that would be the hardest part. You're in all these restaurants. Like, I probably... I just want to eat all the time. <laughs> yeah, I told my story. Like, when I started in this, like, 18 years ago, I was, like, 225 pounds. And, like, at first, I wouldn't eat nowhere. And then 
everywhere you go, you're their hero. You fix something, they can't yeah. open up, they got something down, you know, they got a walk-in freezer of $50,000 of food in there, you fix it and it's up and running. And like, I've eaten five-star restaurants, I've had lobsters, and people just give you whatever. It's just like, I went from being active as an electrician up and down ladders, running around all the time, to, you know, I spend two to four hours a day in my van and eating food on top of it. it didn't It didn't paint out very well, so... I always tell my son, I'm like, stay active, turn down the food. And he, he started getting the food, and he's like, my work pants don't fit no more. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you're 21 years old. You better figure it out now. I was like, because when you're 41, it's really hard. It's hard to go backwards. <laughs> yeah. So what else you guys got to offer to talk about? What else do we have to offer? Um, we're really cool. <laughs> well, product-wise, product-wise. Pretty product awesome. Wise. <laughs> Um, no, you guys are great. Um, you're great for the community. You're great for, you know, refrigeration technology. You guys are doing a really fantastic job with social media, um, the marketing stuff. Um, I'm glad to have you guys on. Um, we've talked, you know, before in different avenues, and, you know, we talked before with you yeah. here. And uh, just to see the growth you guys are doing and the growth that you guys are experiencing is great. Um, I think it's always really cool to have, like, the techs actually compliment us, yes. right? Um, for us, you know, we're not, we've never been techs. We're not mm -hmm. techs, and we're still learning. There's mm -hmm. still things that, well, there's a lot of things I don't know. Let me let me be frank. But um, I always say, like, I know enough to be dangerous. Um, I know a lot about the product itself. But it's really, really cool feeling when you have techs say, oh, you helped me make a decision, mm -hmm. or, you know, I, I, I didn't know this. Uh, and for them to like come and say like, oh, you changed my mind on something or I learned something from you is a really, really cool feeling. So those types of compliments always uh, they get me. Those yeah. are good ones. I love that and I appreciate that. Yeah, if, you know, if I make a video uh, for our page and I reach 10 people that it impacted, then I did my job. It doesn't matter if it gets thousands of views. If I was able to educate someone, you know, give them, um, you know, a new product to use mm -hmm. that's going to better them, better their jobs, and, you know, we're doing it right. Yeah, you changed my mind on some stuff. Um, I was really excited to get my hands on some of that Nylog White, and it does a really good job for our industry, so, um, but, I mean, I've rocked your products for years. Big Blue's my number one. I'm always buying that. Uh, I buy it by the gallon jug, and sometimes I leave it somewhere, so I go buy more. <laughs> I'm terrible, man. At least I'm everywhere. I, I always know where my tools are, but I don't know where my chemicals are. So it's good for you guys, though. I mean, well, I mean we don't hate it, but. No. Yeah, anybody who steals that is actually going to use it. Yeah. So. If you, <laughs> yeah. If you, if you took it, you, you're going to use it. So, um, All right. Well, if anyone has any questions or anything, they're going to hang around for a minute. You guys can ask them some questions when we're done here. But uh, I appreciate your time. And do you want to go ahead and plug all your social media so you, these people can follow you and tag away? And yes. So follow Refrigeration Technologies, every platform. Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Becca's hot for HVAC. I think your, in your installs are hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm HVAC underscore Ash on uh, TikTok and Instagram. And then you can also find me on LinkedIn at Ashley Linz. Oh, yeah. I'm on LinkedIn, too. Becca's Stamey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not as fun, but no. we'll throw it out there. We, we use it. <laughs> <laughs> I love LinkedIn. We got to support this. I know. You have a really big following on yeah. LinkedIn. You do it's really huge. well with it. You, you actually inspired me to start posting on it, it's, but it's hard because I feel like what I put on Instagram sometimes wouldn't translate to LinkedIn. It may be a little too risque. Oh, my gosh. Some of your videos, <laughs> these <laughs> guys, these guys, people ask me, like, is she seriously doing this? I'm like, hey, she's having fun of her job. <laughs> it gets attention. It's, it works, right? <laughs> There's some things I do not post on LinkedIn. Yeah. They stay on Instagram and TikTok. Well, the wrestling thing was funny because people were like, they're actually going to wrestle in dialogue. I was like, no way, dude. I was like, chill out. <laughs> and then you guys did the little workout, the thumb workout videos. I was like, see, I told you guys. Hey, that's just good marketing. Right? <laughs> uh, it worked great. It worked fantastic. Yeah. There was a, probably a lot of heartbroken guys yesterday. So. <laughs> We, we packed that. So. <laughs> so if you guys have any uh, pictures using their product, if you have any questions using their product, make sure you reach out to them. They are super friendly. Um, they will have tips, tricks. Uh, if you have a, you know, a video using the product or a picture, a story, or a, a, vi a reel or anything, make sure you tag them. They'll reshare it. And um, they're great people to work with. So thanks for your time. It. Yes. <laughs> thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks so much. You guys are welcome anytime you want. Um, I just, you know, you guys do a good job, you know, promoting everything and making this industry safer and better for everybody. So that's the goal. You good? Yeah, I'm good. He's smiling. <laughs> He's just, just having I'm a good just time. happy to be here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great time. It's a uh, AHR is always a blast. Um, yeah, I it's should, your first one. Yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. 
Are you overwhelmed? Yeah. This like... smile stuck on my face. So. <laughs> Do your got the cheek hurt? Yeah, yeah. the pain. <laughs> my feet hurt and yeah. my cheeks hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. The great. best part is just catching up people. You know, I, I should be do more as far as, like, talking to manufacturers and stuff about what I do. But the best part is just catching up with, you know, it's, it's meeting new people, get, meeting up old friends, you know, seeing you guys, seeing, you know, we've got Matt and Megan out there, seeing them again. And we've got Just Work out here. I mean, yeah. it, the connections. And Tito, yeah, H-Fact. me and Tito are Visionaries. co-workers. Yeah. Co-workers, yeah, the visionaries. There's some young guns. There we go. Yeah, we'll get you guys on. Come Aving on. Even the way. <laughs> so I appreciate everyone's time. So have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Is that?